Well, good morning from Laredo, Texas. So I am here almost at the US-Mexico border. It is right behind me. I'm currently in Texas and I'm going to be crossing over into Nuevo Laredo, which is the Mexican side of this city of Laredo across the border. And so they say to not come here. It's listed as red in the map. They say very dangerous, but um, if you speak with people in Nuevo Laredo, you get a very different perspective. And so in this video, I'm gonna be taking you across the border, I'm gonna be showing you what it's like, and um, going to be talking about the safety, um, but most importantly, taking you on an adventure here today over to Mexico. So I got my passport in my pocket and I am ready to cross this border by foot. So let's get going. So we can see the border right behind me. There is a bridge that's gonna cross over the Rio Grande and go into Mexico. So we see though, first, we gotta take these escalators up here and go through some of the formalities. So welcome to the gateway of the Americas. So did you know Laredo is considered the customs capital of Latin America because so much customs, goods, and traffic flows through here. There is an enormous amount of trade happening at this border post, and you're gonna see so many trucks and things like that when you're driving down here because all those factories in Mexico are on the other side of the border, and um, they're bringing goods back and forth between the US and Mexico all the time. So it is a very busy border posting. You can see not a lot of people are here today. Very quiet. There's a line off in the distance that is coming back into the US, but going into Mexico, not a lot going on. We had to get our $1 coin. That is the price to cross this bridge. So um, put the dollar in the turnstile and then um, getting on the bridge here. You can see it off here in the distance. Now I'm on the bridge crossing the Rio Grande and you can see just a simple bridge. There's a nice park off to my right over here um, and then we can see the river coming ahead. But you just walk across and then we'll see what happens when we get over to the Mexican side. What's very interesting at these borders is that nobody checks your US passport when you leave. So you can just leave the country. Nobody, nobody cares at all. Um, it's coming back that they're gonna thoroughly check you, but leaving is a very simple process. And now we're here overlooking the Rio Grande. So you can see the river below. So there's a park here on the US side and a bunch of outlet stores. And then on the Mexican side, it looks like the customs area. There's some people fishing down in the river here or throwing some nets in, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're at the midpoint. And so there's, a U there's some US people right over here on this side where you'd be coming back. And then here, um, we're kind of like right at the line. So US on my right and Mexico on my left. And now we are officially here in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, in Tamaulipas State. And so as soon as you cross the border, nobody checks your passport. You just walk right in. There's like a, some security there looking at you, but that's it. Um, so we're clearly in Mexico now, and you can tell because everywhere there are money changers, and there are dentists, and there are pharmacists, and all these things that are cheaper on the other side of the border. So people um, are coming over here for medical tourism and things like that. Um, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit around Nuevo Laredo, but first thing, I gotta eat. I'm really hungry, so let's go experience the cuisine here in northern Mexico in Tamaulipas State. So just got some tamales from a cart right over here. And uh, very interesting, so there's a few different kinds. There's a couple of savory ones with chicken and a beautiful salsa here. And then there's this sweet one, the pink one on the left. Um, I'll try it, it's very interesting. It's like some, some berries inside here, but 
<laughs> delicious, delicious street food so far here in Nuevo Laredo. Well, that was absolutely delicious. You can see I've cleaned the plate here. Let me show you the cart. There's a lot of people here. Like, that's why you can tell it's good. It's just a big crowd. Hola. La basura. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. So they've got all their tamales in there. And then they're serving them up. This big crowd of people. You can see kind of all all trying to get tamales. So that's how you know it's a good spot. So continuing the tour here in Nuevo Laredo, but an excellent start. Some really, really good tamales there. If you speak any Spanish, you're probably wondering, ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Well, it's right here. There's a public library right behind me. Biblioteca Pública. We found it. But I'm here actually in the Plaza de Mexico. So this is like one of the central places here in Nuevo Laredo. So I walk down from the border down this main boulevard here and I'm in just this relaxed, beautiful plaza. It's about midday, not a lot of people out. It's a Saturday, so it's a little bit more quiet, but um, Nuevo Laredo is very chill. I've enjoyed my time here so far. Don't feel unsafe at all. Um, People here are quite nice. I've had some chats with little people on my way. Um, so it's been a good experience so far. So continue on with me on my journey here in Nuevo Laredo. I have come to one of the highlights here in Nuevo Laredo, El Patrino. So this restaurant is a very popular institution here. It is open from 6 a.m. to midnight every single day of the week. It's got great value and it's really popular with the locals. So I am excited to get in here and get eating. So I have ordered one of their popular plates. It's called machacado. It means shredded in Spanish. And um, what it really is, is it's like shredded beef with scrambled eggs served with a tortilla. Very common breakfast. It comes from Siniega de Flores, which is actually a town a little bit south of here. It's technically in Nuevo Leon province, but it's so close to here. It's closer than the other places in Tamaulipas province. Um, so it's like food very, very typical to this area, to this border region, and to Texas as well. So we have ordered that, one of the popular plates here. I'm very excited to try it. So this version, you can see the machacado here. That's the egg and the shredded beef, but it's got some enhancements. We've got some salad, some avocado, some refried beans here, some um, possibly potato. So yeah. A great meal for me to enjoy here in Mexico, right on the other side of the border. So this costs maybe five bucks, a little bit less, like four fifty. So really good deal here, a good value for your money. That would be paying a lot more in Texas for sure. Well, welcome back. I'm here with my friend Victor. Hola. <laughs> we are um, we're having some tacos. We are at a place called uh, Tacos El Santo Nino. And so this is like right over the border and we're having these potato tacos here that are absolutely delicious. Um, and so like right as you come across the border, not immediately in the vicinity, but if you were to go like to the left, there's a church called El Santo Nino and there's a taco stand that is famous. Famous for coming at night but it's also good during the day. And um, I've got these four, ta or four tacos here for about a dollar. So really good value, good stuff here. I have got my elote. So this is a very, very popular Mexican street food. And it's basically a corn that they cover in mayonnaise, cheese, um, and hot sauce. And you can add more hot sauce yourself on it. And so, I've already dug into it, but it is so good. Mmm. It's dripping, so you gotta be careful. But having a great time here. We're currently walking on the main strip here. I am here right at the edge of the Rio Grande. 
and the United States is right behind me here. So we can come down and it's just like, it's over there. I mean, you could literally just walk across, which is crazy. But yeah, here, that's, that's downtown Nuevo Laredo. There's a road right there. There's people swimming in the river here. You can go, I don't know how far they're allowed to go. But yeah, that's, that's how close. And then we've got uh, Laredo behind me here. And what's actually funny is that the US part is closer than where we are to the city of uh, Nuevo Laredo. So it's very interesting how, how just one river, um, one small body of water can, can mean so much. Completely different um, you know, lifestyles, worlds, dreams, everything, economic situation just crossing this small body of water to the other side. Very interesting. Um, the other thing I've learned here is that a lot of the people in Nuevo Laredo have uh, visas to go to the United States. Um, it sort of depends on their job and whether they're able to get them, but it's very common for people to be coming back and forth. I've heard Americans talking here um, and you know, seen them sort of moving back and forth. And so they have those visas, they're able, it depends on kind of your job. You have to have a, a sort of a legitimate job to be able to get that visa. But, but many American or many Mexicans will go over there to have their children um, so that they can have U.S. citizenship and then they can work over there. And so what you'll see is many people living here in Nuevo Laredo that are U.S. citizens that are basically have lived their whole life in Mexico, but they're able to work. So they come over here and work and then they come back because you can obviously earn so much more on that side of the river. Cooking some carne asada here <laughs> on the banks of the Rio Grande. We've got, a, <laughs> we've got a nice little family here we met. Uh, and they're making um, this one. It's called, uh, it's like some pico de gallo, yeah. And so it's, um, it's jalapeno, tomato, onion colors of the Mexican flag, some, le um, some lime. Okay, and he's got uh, tortillas. tortillas for tacos to to go with uh, all these meats. You can see him, he's actually, he's uh, he was cutting it up here. Let's see it. Look at that. Wow. Looks good. And then, uh, yeah, we've got the, the, the Estados Unidos just over here. So pretty cool right on the, the banks here. We're gonna try a little bit there. Uh, they're preparing some tortillas here for me. So we're gonna get them warm. Okay, so we've got our taco here. And we're gonna put in some pico de gallo. You see we've got this sausage and a little bit of meat here. And then we can add. Oh. It's guacamole. It's very rich. It's very rich. It's Salsa de esta? Okay, un, un poco. Okay. Oh, wow. Gracias. <laughs> Incredible, this taco here. Wow. Very, very kind people here, too. Right on the river. And my friend here, he's going to have one as well. Digging into this amazing taco here. The carne asada with the pico de gallo. Very, very delicious. <laughs> right here on the Rio Grande. Really amazing. Very kind people here in Nuevo Laredo for sure. This 
we have come. <laughs> oh no. This kid just, he just completely, completely fell. So we have come to the, oh, I feel bad for him. We've come to the cultural center here in Nuevo Laredo. And as you can see guys, it, it feels, uh, it's just so dangerous, you know? Northern Mexico. <laughs> wow, it's, it's been a hard day. Um, you know, it's been very scary. All those warnings that I was shown earlier before I crossed the border were, um, you know, would have terrified me. I wouldn't want to come here and then be like, damn guys, look, Nuevo Laredo, you're gonna die here. You see it? It's just crazy. You know, I'm not gonna go and say every place is 100% safe and there, you know, there are definitely places you don't want to be around here at night. Um, you know, down by the river is one place you wouldn't want to be at night. But, um, you know, we're at this beautiful museum and we're having a wonderful day here. And so, um, you know, just don't believe everything you hear. Understand that there is a lot of nuance to some of these things. So dangerous. Well, welcome back to the main part of Nuevo Laredo. I'm here on the main drag, got the border right in front of me, and that is the end of my journey, but not quite yet. I'm gonna show you how I get back into the United States. So I've got my passport in my pocket. I've also got my global entry card. I don't know if that's gonna help me. I heard it might, so we'll see if that does a trick here, but I'm um, gonna continue forward through this border, um, cross over the Rio Grande River, and be back in Laredo in the United States. We'll see how long it takes. back on the other side it's five pesos so about a third of a dollar so it's cheaper to return than it is to to come here across the bridge but uh, yeah five pesos or 33 US cents going back here and there's quite a lot of people selling snacks on the Mexican side not quite in the US yet but more so than on the U.S. side, for sure. And we have just passed through the, uh, there were a couple of immigration guys. I obviously did not film them, um, but we're coming through. We're now passing the river here, so you can see right out here. And that way is back into Mexico. So we're sort of in the U.S., we're on the U.S. side, but um, I have not uh, shown my passport yet um, to officially enter the country. And just like that, I'm back in the United States. It was very easy. This was a lot easier than my time crossing at Ciudad Juarez, where they took me in a back room for questioning. Um, fortunately though, that was not much of an issue. Uh, it was very short questioning. They just wanted to know, it was my first time crossing the border. Um, you know, everything good um, and things were good. We talked about travel and all that. But um, yeah, now I'm back in the US and uh, had such a wonderful day over in Nuevo Laredo. I think, um, you know, place definitely gets a bad reputation, but as you saw with my video today, it's not true. Um, it was a very, very nice place. You saw those kind people down on the, the Rio Grande River. Um, overall, a really good experience there. And what's actually funny is a lot of people in Laredo and in Nuevo Laredo they know that the Laredo, Nuevo Laredo, the Mexican side, is actually better than the Texas side. Um, they say that it's it's a more fun place to be. It's more lively. I'm here in Nuevo Laredo, or I'm here in Laredo now, and there's like nothing going on. There's like no people here. The city's super dead. Um, and yeah, 
that's kind of the the difference between the two places that side is is definitely uh more more of a uh, fun place to be so but it's good to be back i'm tired it was a long day i did a lot of walking around and so I'm heading back to my Airbnb on the Laredo side. The reason I'm staying over here is I've got a rental car. And with a rental car, you can't easily take it across the border. You gotta pay extra money to do that. So it's easier to just leave my stuff here and stay on this side. Um, but sometimes it's cheaper to stay over there. So you can kind of do a mix. You can park here, stay over there, depending on what you're doing. But taking a car across the border, if it's not your own, is just a little more complicated. So that's the end of the vlog. You guys can see I'm safe. Nothing has happened to me, uh, you know, that whole day. Nothing happened. It was a good experience. Um, you know, when you, when you think about it, as an American going over there, the last thing a cartel wants to do is create problems with me. Because if they create problems with me, that's in the news. Now the Mexican government has to do something about it. The police have to do something about it. So, you know, as an American tourist over there, you know, the only incidents you hear about ever in the news are really like wrong place, wrong time kind of situations. Nobody's targeting you. Um, that's just something that doesn't make sense. If you think from their perspective, you know, and, and the cartels do control everything over there. But if you think from their perspective, why would they want to rock the boat when they're making a lot of money? They want to keep making money. They don't want problems. And so doing anything to me other than letting me just go and have my food and have fun is creating problems. And so that's why um, I think it's very safe as an American to go over to the other side and you know enjoy yourself, explore Mexico, enjoy the wonderful culture and amazing people in Mexico. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking about doing this trip, definitely recommend it definitely recommend enjoying your time on the southern side of the border.